Welcome to Chapter 3 of Making Your First Animation. Once again, I'm Mr. Jamie, and I'll guide you on our journey here. This is using the animator software. So, we've got a robot made from before. Let's go to Mode and choose Figure. And then View in All. We almost always want to do that. Use our Select Arrow, and we're going to select that little triangle. That's the Root Bone. Get New Bone Tool. Click the top of the Root Bone. A new bone appears. Go to Build, Add Object, select your robot, click OK. Now use your Move tool to position your robot. You want basically the legs to be where the bottom of the bone is, the root sticking out. Now get the eyeball there. It's going to let you move the view so we can see all of it. The stretch tool in that will shrink or grow the view. Hit the arrow at the top to go back to normal. And now we need our Select arrow to select the new bone we put in. The Grow Bone tool, and we'll pull it up to the top of the body. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. We don't need to rotate anything, so I don't know what I was doing when I did that. So pull the bone back to the top. It should be right before the neck, like that. Now we need our Select Arrow to select the Root Bone again. Get New Bone tool. Click where the two bones meet. You can hardly see it, but there is a bone there. Get your Rotate tool and rotate that bone to the left pointing straight out to the left. Now we'll get our Grow Bone tool, pull it to the center of the leg, just above the leg on the center, get your new bone tool, click at the end of that bone to make a new bone, and we're going to rotate that bone straight down the leg. Get your Grow Bone tool, waiting, there we go, get your Grow Bone tool, and pull that straight down the leg. Now we got to do the same for the other side, get your Select Arrow and select the Root Bone, Get New Bone Tool, click the top of the Root Bone. New Bone appears, you can hardly see it, but rotate it down to the right. Now we can see it. And we need to keep position it just above the middle of the leg. And New Bone Tool on top of that, New Bone, and we're going to rotate that bone straight down into the leg. And then we get our Grow Bone Tool. And we're going to pull it straight down the length of the leg. It doesn't have to be exact. Now select tool. We're going to select that backbone there and do the same thing at the top. Click new bone tool. New bone appears. Rotate it to the side. Straight ahead. Get the grow bone tool and pull it to the top center of the arm. Now use the select arrow and we will select the backbone again. Get a new bone tool and click the top of the backbone to put another new bone in. And we'll want to rotate that bone the opposite direction and get the grow bone tool and pull it to the center top of the arm doesn't want to pull there we go All right, now we need the new bone tool come on there we go and we'll click on a new bone rotate that bone straight down the arm and we'll get the grow bone tool and pull it down oh, doesn't want to cooperate there we go it's a little crooked, so I'm going to get the rotate and straighten it out. That's good. All right, select arrow. Select the bone on the right there. Get the new bone tool and click the edge to add a bone. Rotate that bone down, straight down the arm. Get the bone grow tool. Uh, get the bone grow tool. Hello. <laughs> okay, we're messing around with it too much. Bone grow, and we'll pull that straight down the arm. And we're still not happy with it, so we're going to rotate it a little bit more. All right. Now we need the select arrow. Select the backbone. We need a new bone. Click where the bones meet at the top. And this is going to be a neck bone. There it is. And we grow bone tool. We just need to move it slightly to the top of the head. And we're going to add a new bone on top of that. This bone we're just going to pull straight through the head. Somehow that sounds painful. All right, grow bone tool. There we go. Straight through the head. Okay, settings, figure, name it. Robot's good, R-O-B-O-T. I'm sure you know how to spell robot, right? Okay. Now we're ready for part two. I just turned the bones off so we can see it without the bones. Put them back on. Part two of this chapter, that will do a file save. Always good to save. Part two of this chapter starts, wait for it, now. <laughs> okay, hit your select arrow. 
Select the body by clicking where there are no bones. Go to File and click Delete. Oh, wait, no, it's not there. <laughs> I'm looking. I, I lost what I was doing. All you need to do is hit Delete on the keyboard. There we go. Now we need to select bones. So get your select arrow. Like going all over the place here. What are we doing? Okay, select the backbone. Go to Build, Add Object. Choose the body. Click OK. Use your move tool and position it. Again, the legs should be at the bottom and the top should be where the shoulders are. Right, kind of sitting there for some reason. Okay, go to your select arrow. Select the very top bone for the head. Build, Add Object. Choose Head. Click OK. Get your move tool and position it properly, sitting on the neck. Next, built into the body. Now your select arrow, and let's see, we're going to, for some reason we're rotating that. There's no reason to do that. I'm not sure why we were doing that. Bone must have been crooked. Okay, select with the select arrow the arm, add object, build, add object, select arm leg, and use your move tool to position it. Go back to your select arrow. Right, we're still fiddling with it. Okay, select arrow, select the other bone for the arm. Build, add object, arm leg again. We can reuse objects like that. Move tool and move it into position. Now, select arrow, and this time we're going to select. It's got to be a leg. It's the only things left. Come on. There we go. Select a leg. Build, add object, arm, leg again. We're using the same object. Use your move tool to position it. Didn't lean with it a lot, aren't we? There we go. Select arrow. Select the other leg bone. Build, add object, select arm, leg. Click OK. Use the move tool to position it. Good. Now we're going to click the little bone icon at the bottom, turn off the bones. This allows us to see how everything fits together. This arm is not quite right. I'm going to select it with the select arrow and use the move tool to get it positioned better. Get the select arrow. I'm going to select the other arm and adjust it a little bit. Make some finishing touches here. I'm going to select the legs. They can come down just a hair, I think. So we'll use the move tool, position that a little better. Really don't know that it needed that, but oops, I accidentally double clicked it. We'll exit that. Select arrow for the other leg, move it down a little. That's good. All right. I just turned the bones back on. We're going to go to file. Oops, my battery's running low. Get rid of that. We're going to go to file. Come on. There we go. File and do save. And that completes chapter three. So stay tuned for chapter four where we will begin making sequences.